Hey everybody, Matt's been in A4, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Fire Ash. Last time, we made our way into Azalea Town, and we said goodbye to Charizard, and he's gonna go train in the Charistic Valley. <laughs> goodbye, Charizard, what is Ash gonna keep releasing his Pokemon? Uh, anyways, we got more Pokemon, it's fun, I know fire types, unfortunately, but uh, hopefully that changes soon, and quickly, because we're up against the fire type gym leader, and we're supposed to get a Cyndaquil. Kurt makes the most unique balls. You made a level ball out of red apricorn. Apricorn, whatever you call it. We are a slowpoke that lives here. There's a little, quite a lot of slowpoke. That one doesn't have a tail. What's going on? Kurt has been making apricorns for decades. Bring him some apricorns if you want special balls to help in your capturing. Very tucked to you, Cherry Grove and Violet City. That's pretty cool. So, uh, for Cyndaquil, we gotta find one. Run a charcoal business here that gets exported as far as Kanto. Here, have a sample. Woo! Charcoal increases the power of fire type moves. Just like the miracle seed we found earlier. Ah, it's raining! Ah! Um, let's try one up here. Let's put on the repel. Wherever it is. Okay. We just wasted our repel. Have we checked the Pokemon yet? I forgot. I was too busy in about my controls last time. Um, blue Apricorn, I seem nice. Check this. Thanks for the ball, dude. Yeah, it was a weird uh, Windows update. Like, it was happening while I was playing. Oh, obviously, you guys saw from the last episode. My controls just stopped working. Uh, I play keyboard. It's really weird because for Pokemon Emerald Rogue, I play the controller, but for this, I'm playing with mouse, or not mouse, just keyboard. And I'm basically using. Arrow key, Z, X, C, V. X, C, and V stopped working, along with the Q key. And I spent a day and a half molding why it wasn't working, and watched like bajillion tutorials. And it turns out there was like some secret hidden uh, update, an optional update from Windows 10. And they're like, hey, you want to update this? And I'm like, sure. I've tried literally everything else, and then it started working again, so that's cool. Kind of paranoid to play this with keyboard, but here I am playing with keyboard. Pink Capricorn. Pretty sure you're in front of Kurt's house, Brock. All right, so Brock has Brock types, obviously. Citrus Berry. You have like a lucky egg, don't you? All right. Um, I'm gonna assume Brock is at high levels, unless he's using Pokemon from Johto, right? Otherwise, it'll be a Kindler, Pikachu, Squirtle fight. So we'll give Bailey the Lucky Egg. If we can take him, we'll take him with our... Bee! If not, we'll give the XP show to Heracross. And the others can go to Tan. Hey, Ash, you came to visit Kurt, too? I got a heavy fastball from him. Since you're here, let's have a battle. Sure, Brock. Yeah, we're traveling this team, Brock and Johto, by the way. <laughs> Get challenged by Breeder Brock. Onyx! Level 45. Got level 23 Bayleaf. Take it. No, I'm not gonna take a chance. Even though Onyx sucks. Perfect training for my Kindler. Oh. You haven't learned Crab Hammer yet. Oh! Mummy! Brock does our attack. What a play. I'm surprised the Onyx is faster than us. Not gonna lie. Rock slide, go! Zubat. That's perfectly okay. Razor shell! Wow, Bailey's got nothing out of that. What if we kill it now? Uh, Razor shell. 
Yummy! Maybe I don't do want to burn through all of my citrus berries too quickly. Full picks. 42. Rock slide, go! Kindler, why you gotta be so slow? Rock slide again! Pineco, there it is. I like how it's lower level, just like the Johto Pokemon are. You have a lot of sturdy Pokemon, dude. The heck? Hammer Arm Punch! I do like how the Johto Pokemon are lower level because they're brand new. I lost, huh? Even after all my training. You did good, Brock. You did good. Kurt gave me some great balls. Are you gonna leave, though? We're, mi we're mining charcoal right now. Come back later. And years ago. So Dude, where am I supposed to get my Cyndaquil? Oh, he finally moved. Oh, he walked, he moved! The heck? My grandpa's the best Pokeball maker in the world. I heard from Professor Oak that you would be coming to give me something. You have the GS ball? Yeah. I'll get to work on it right away. Here, take this as thanks for making it such a long journey. Lure ball! Fast ball! Those are special balls that I make. Bring some paper coins, but I'll gladly make you more. Sure. Oh, by tomorrow? But I don't know. Is there time? No need. Okay. Cyndaquil. I don't know where to get it. Is there a route that I missed or something? I mean, there is a notepad walkthrough. Oh, we'll walk into the gym and see what's up. Do. So I'm pretty sure Ash gets a Cyndaquil before he even makes it to the gym. Because there's literally a gym battle with Cyndaquil in it. Mega Lord. <laughs> okay. Um, let's backtrack a bit. Hopefully figure something out. Could have been a pathway I missed. Don't want to find any more trainers. Oh? Aha! Back off! That Pokemon is mine! We literally went the other way. Were challenged by Tamer Koji. Go, Bailey! You win this. It's raining, eh? I'm pretty. Does rain make Solar Beam go for three turns instead of two? I don't know. I know it weakens Synthesis or whatever. Could be wrong. <laughs> Solar Beam! Die. Darn you! Yeah. Get lost. Uh, bye, nerd. Cyndaquil! We got a Cyndaquil! Nope. Awesome! New party member. Alright, we'll give the lucky egg to... Cyndaquil, and we shall... We can get all the EXP. So here's the thing, right, guys? Uh, Cyndaquil doesn't evolve into Koalava. That isn't Pokemon Gold and Silver the Series. You know, back in my day, it wasn't called Pokemon Gold and Silver the Series, by the way. <laughs> Don't be in a boober right now. Even though I'm... I'm like the beginning of Gen Z now that I think about it. Whatever. Um, let us... I forgot my train of thought was going. Anyways, let's teach our Cyndaquil some, some funny moves. What nature are you? Adamant, attack plus, special attack down. <sighs> I'm pretty sure 
Typhlosion has the same stats as Cyndaquil, but that doesn't really matter because we won't be getting the Typhlosion, unfortunately. Oh, I remember what I was saying. So, Cyndaquil does evolve, but not during the Johto Saga, which is kind of annoying. So we're gonna keep it a Cyndaquil until I get very angry, and then I'll evolve it into Quilava. But we're gonna try our best to keep it Cyndaquil. I know we popped uh, Bayleaf a little too early, but... Hey, tired of losing. Oh, you already have Flamethrower, cool. Um, we'll replace Agility with Flame Charge. I don't know if there's Mint in this game. I know they added... I'm playing the Galar update, but we're nowhere near Galar. I do wonder. It makes you wonder if we uh, change the nature, because that'd be pretty, pretty hype. I'm also surprised we're going to flame charge this early. That's a Gen 5 TM. I'm also realizing we're going by, like, number order. I feel like I missed some. Oh, well. Probably look it up if we do miss some. Or if we go back in Kanto or something. Uh, what else? Could Cyndaquil learn? Maybe bulk up? Probably not. Nope. Uh... Can you learn Solar Beam? Cannot. How about Aerial Ice? Pretty sure you can, yeah. And I think that's good for now. Can you learn the rock slides of Cyndaquil? Thank goodness. I kinda, I'm kind of happy it doesn't because I don't rock slide on every, everybody. You know, rock slide's mad good. Hey! Oops. Gev. Lucky egg. Yosha. That's fine. Cool, full party go. Alright, let's take on the gym. Let's do our best. Bugs uses bug type Pokemon. They are weak against fire, flying, and rock types. They are strong against psychic, grass, and dark. Fighting grass and ground also don't do much damage. So, like pre gen 4. Uh, Psychic and Dark types are running all over the place. Because one of their weaknesses is Bug types, and Bug types aren't that great. I would argue even now they're not that great. Like, probably one of the worst offensive typings, like, for coverage. However, um, Bug types did get better at some point, you know? So, let's, let's go. Hi, Hosen! There's not that many bug types I do like or would play with or uh, run on my party, but Heracross is definitely one of them. I love me some Heracross. I'm just as good. I could be the gym leader for you. No, you have a badge? Don't care. You are my stepping stone for EXP. Bug grass, huh? Die. Die. Makes <laughs> me wonder if uh, Senoko can learn the elemental punches. Bugsy will never lose to you. Yeah, this is, this is gonna be three, three opponents. What can I say? Meridian Forest in a nutshell, but indoors. Ooh, Beedrill, a little scary. Just a little. <gasps> See, that kind of hurt. Keyword on kind of. Then again, we're also Cyndaquil. Oh, baby, a double. Kakuna. Oh, heavy evolution line. Flame wheel? I don't think we need that because we have flame charge. Oh, wait! It's kind of stronger. 
However, I like the speed boost. We're fine. I'm sorry. Alright, I need to like... Oops. No. I need to start saving in case my controls stop working. Just in case. Oh, we're fine. We can take some more hits. I won't lose, okay? After this trainer, we'll go heal and we'll fight the gym leader. Lediba. Dude, I always forget about Lediba. Forgettable Gen 2 Pokemon. Hopefully this ages well, but as much as I love Johto, the Gen 2 Pokédex, not that strong! Not that strong. And I, I feel like I can back that up when we, uh, when you bring up Pokémon Coliseum, right? Pokémon Coliseum, that great game people will praise. You know, Sorority Genius, the people who should definitely replace Game Freak. But anyways, that game is harder than it should be. Because you don't get that much access to a lot of Pokemon, right? But most of them are Generation 2 Pokemon. And there's there's some Generation 2 Pokemon that don't get ev uh, evolutions until later. And there's just a lot of mid in there, you know? Don't get me wrong, though. I, I know people be like, um, but Meta, what about, what about Tyranitar? Yeah, I know about Tyranitar, right? There's some outliers in Gen 2. There's some really cool Pokemon like Scizor and Tyranitar in them. But, Gen 2 cast, pretty, pretty weak compared to the others. But anyways, it is time for our gym match. I'm pretty sure this is a 2v2 from the anime. Let's, uh, let's go switch style the set. I have to like rewatch some of the Johto gym leader matches because uh I don't remember all of them. <laughs> I don't remember like what I remember Claire of course. Uh I do remember the first one of Bugsy. Uh I obviously know about the third gym leader, which we'll get into later. But uh Not that memorable when it comes to Johto gym matches, to be quite honest. But hey. The rest of the Pokemon anime gets better ones later on. Who cares? Hi there, I'm Bugsy. My research is going to make me a leader on Bug-type Pokemon. Let me demonstrate what I've learned from my studies in a battle. Cyndaquil and Pikachu. Oh, we get three. Okay, so I wasn't Ron. So Bayleaf is the third one, I'm pretty sure. Or was it Heracross? Let me look it up. Let me look it up. For sure. I didn't watch the actual full episode, I looked it up on YouTube, and I remember seeing only Pikachu and Cyndaquil. Unless, uh, this game has something different. Ash versus... Let's see. Mm, Uh, up to three Pokemon. Okay, so I see Cyndaquil. Yeah, I knew it was bait. I knew it was Chikorita. Um, okay, let's start off with in that case. Yeah, I remember. I'm pretty sure Ash did this for like. <laughs> Multiple gym leaders. Just set it up. I, I told. I, I was talking about this earlier. Like, Chikorita's a bad choice, dude. Chikorita's a bad choice. Oh shoot! I was gonna give the XP share. Oh well. I'll do Bailey first, and then Quill second, Pikachu third. This would have been free for Charizard. Like, not even. Not even kidding. Uh, I will say though, although like people get mad, including myself, when Ash releases Pokemon, right? Um. Releasing Charizard early in Johto is a good choice, right? Because 
Hoenn and Onward was when Ash just would bring just Pikachu. And rock with that. I'm just gonna spam Solomy. It might be weaker than, than, than freaking Tackle, but it's not good. Because it gives the weaker Pokemon on Ash's team with clearly less experience the time to shine. Because... I guess an argument can be made. It, this isn't a wild argument, right? At this point in the anime, Charizard is Ash's best Pokemon, right? Can we, can we agree on that? Saifa! Saifa! <laughs> that sounded so cool. So it gives some new Johto Pokemon some time to shine. Well, Ash still has some of his older Pokemon in his party with him. You have time to rotate around and all that stuff. I wish the series would always do that, but fortunately it does not. Let's go for Flame Charge. Oh no. Oh no, we fought our good share of Scythers, huh? Let's go... Hi, hey, Olsen! Oh no, I might switch a Pikachu dude. Swapping Pikachu. <laughs> Yo, Pikachu! <laughs> Can you make him a dad? Yeah. Oh, Bozo. Thunder Bonto! Metapod. Oh no, a Metapod. Well, ever will I do? Flamethrower! Easy clap. And Bugsy has been defeated. My research is much better on paper. Um, I would assume so, because you're doing research. <laughs> You've earned the Hive Badge! We got a Hive Badge! Here, have this TM to give me U turn, give me U turn. Oh, hex scissor, even better. Pretty sure I have U turn already. TM81 contains X Scissor. It's a powerful bug. Attack. And goodbye, Lunge! You had a short life. How fortunately, we have a better move now. Never mind, Heracross cannot learn it. You get to live for a bit longer. Nice, got ourselves our second gym badge. That's pretty awesome. So, next time on Pokemon Fire Ash, we'll be leaving Azalea Town and working our way to the. Next gym leader, which is located in Goldenrod City. But, uh, yeah, thank you all for watching, and sign our.